We just got the modular headspace comparator kit from Short Action Customs in the shop. We want to show it to you and compare it to two other popular solutions. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm back with Travis Fox. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Gavin. Thanks for having me. Glad to yes. be here. Yes. So, what is it we've got here? We have the modular headspace comparator kit from Short Action Customs. Very nice kit and gives us lots of really good data. So this is something that you can use for both headspace comparisons yep. or bullet seating depth relative to the O drive of the bullet, not right. the tip of the bullet. And and this is a kit that you're gonna you're gonna pick out what you need. Mm -hmm. uh, so each person's gonna be able to pick out all these different sizes and stuff for the exact cartridge that you need to get you the data that mm -hmm. you need. So the kit comes with the tray and you get four inserts of your choice from a drop down menu. You can pick yep. which headspace or bullet ones that you want. Short body, Short body and, and long, long body. body. Yeah. So next we're gonna demo the headspace comparator. So we're gonna take a look at the differences in the two bodies, the long and the short. What we've got here for the short one, what I've seen is we wanna use this for shoulder bump measurements. This works this way. You could use the long body for this, but you're gonna be limited on the length. But the real, the real story here is a loaded round is not gonna fit here with the short body. Mm -hmm. Thus, It'll hit the jaw of the right. caliper. Yeah. Thus the long body, you have space for the bullet mm -hmm. in here. And there's this here. So, when so you could do bullet or headspace with the bullet seated. Absolutely. Yeah, and that Absolutely. actually is really handy if you want to use it as a reference, a loaded cartridge. Yes. Or if you want to double check to see where your headspace is at even after you've seated bullets. Yes. So now these are super easy to change. They just snap in. There's a little O-ring in here. It's set on this bevel. To yeah, cut on a taper. This yeah. is really nice for how it seats in there. Yeah, they seat in quite nice. I'll show you how this works here. You snap right in, very positive, yep. very solid. So if we want to measure these dasher cases. This is off the custom that I built. Alpha, munitions brass. So what have you got there? Which, which case is that Zero. one? This is the new case. Okay. Unfired, zeroed out. We should be running, what, between 10 and 20, depending on our heads. Uh, 15. One, one. That's uh, 1. 1.5 thousandths. Yeah. Yeah. 1.5. Or 15. 10 thousandths. <laughs> exactly. Exactly where it should be. Yeah. And I, I like to I like to use this headspace comparator measurement for brass in kind of two ways. One is we've got new brass, and then we've got a rifle that blows the shoulder forward a certain amount to look at how closely fitting new brass will be in a particular rifle. And as we can see here, it's within a thousandth and a half. Yep. That's good. Why don't you show us your headspace measurement when you're gunsmithing? Yeah, absolutely. The other thing was when you're going to bump the shoulder, it's already been formed to your chamber. You want to go back a certain amount, and that would be about one and a half thousand. Yep. So I would set that back to what Alpha had it from the factory, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put in the 6.5, and this is the, the 30 degree shoulder. I've got a couple, these are 6.5 PRC go and no go gauges. I like to have this kind of tool system available when I'm chambering rifles. Because you wanna know exactly where you're at with respect to your go and your no-go gauge, or maybe even compare two different brands. There could be slight differences, even though ideally they would be exactly the same. So I've got the go gauge here. I like to spin these just a little bit so you can feel things seat perfectly flat. So I'm gonna zero that out on the go gauge. Now, typically a standard no-go gauge is gonna be five to six thousandths longer than the go gauge. So the bolt should go down on a go gauge. It should not go down on a no-go gauge. Here we have five and a half thousandths. So that falls right in the middle of the range. Now when I chamber rifles, I actually like to get it within two thousandths of an inch. So I'll put a piece of scotch tape on the back and then I can check to see how much difference there is to confirm that I am indeed two thousandths longer. So I'll have it close on the go gauge not close on the go gauge plus two thousandths of an inch. So a bit tighter tolerance. Next, let's talk about bullets. 
so if you're looking close in that demo that we just did, you'll see that there's the bevel cut at the same angle as the shoulder is for the headspace measurement that you're taking. And the bullets are similar, aren't they? Very, yes. They have taken a three degree bevel on the insides of the bullet comparators so that it measures, it matches up to your lands of your rifle. Mm -hmm. You can definitely feel this when you take the bullet and you seat it in here. It, it, it's just like when you chamfer the neck on your, mm -hmm. on your brass. It's mimicking that angle of the O drive of the so bullet. So you set this in here and it does not wobble. It sits in there, it's got <laughs> a much greater surface contact area. So this is how you could measure your bullets if you wanted to measure O drive to base length. Mm -hmm. Now, since it's so easy to do this, pop these off. Flip them on, take your loaded round. There's your OJF2 yep. base length. So you could measure where you're at with respect to your lens. If you're using a particular type of gauge, an OAL gauge or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you can also determine how consistently your reloading press is seating your bolts. Exactly. That base to O drive is the really critical factor because that's really what your jump is relative to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Okay, so why don't we next compare to different products that are already on the market? So here at Ultimate Reloader, we actually use all three of these systems. It's kind of a good, better, best model and the pricing scales accordingly. Yes. We're talking about approximately $45 for the Hornady Headspace kit itself about $75, $80 for the datum dial from Forrester products. And then if you add the bullet comparator, that's actually separate. Short Action Customs is coming in about $170 plus or minus. That's the current pricing is at the time of this filming. Correct. And you can see here, approximately 10 years ago, I went to the effort to make this, yeah. this tray. It's labeled by diameter and insert number for the Hornady set. I made something just like it for the headspace comparator. Well, you don't have to go to that trouble with the short action customs kit because they have this totally bling, yeah. you know, billet set for you. Yeah. Uh, but what this offers that neither of the others do is that a la carte capability. Right. You know, I know a lot of you have oddball cartridges that you're working with, that you're loading for, that you're doing brass prep for. You're going to get exactly what you need and nothing yeah. else. So you can always order different inserts kind of after the fact. Yeah, with 40 different headspace gauges mm -hmm. to pick from, you'll find the one you need. Yep, and you'll see these other tools in the other videos. The datum dial is a really nice set. It's got this ball ratchet that goes through sort of a telephone dial type uh, arrangement here. You've got the different uh, datum diameters labeled. You've got bullet comparator wheels that you can put on. They're, they're quick and easy to change. Uh, not quite quite as quick as snapping in the inserts from Short Action Customs. The Hornady comparators, both for the bullets and for the headspace, have a sharp hole. And, you know, that has pros and cons to it as well. Ideally, if everything's machined perfectly, you can do an exact SAMI base to datum measurement. Short Action Customs is not designed, optimized for that. It's optimized for those shoulders and a bit right. more bearing surface between the tool and whatever it is that you're taking readings from. Yep. We have lots of lots of choices to use here. They all work very well. Um, really depends on what you're after yeah. and what your budget is. Exactly. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna check out those other videos that I have on the other products. And uh, I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of these tools. What do you think? I think we will. <laughs> yep, definitely. Awesome. So if you're using the bullet and headspace comparator kit from Short Action Customs, we'd love for you to drop a comment and tell us what you think about it. Are you using one of these other setups or even ones that we're not showing? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.